Hello everybody, welcome back to EAFC 24. Now we're gonna be starting our RTG, our Road to Glory. Now, uh, the interesting thing about this Road to Glory is that we're not gonna be doing just like any other Road to Glory, you know, like the simple, yeah, of course, you know, it's the same rules that, you know, you don't use FC points, don't do it, you know, say yada, yada, yada. But I wanna make a theme out of this, much like a lot of YouTubers are doing right now anyways, but, uh, I'm actually I want to have a lot of fun with this so This is what we're gonna do. So for this ultimate team. We are gonna be doing a uh, Japan focused RTG now. Uh, what does that mean now? No, it does not mean that my team is gonna be full of Japanese players cuz that'd be impossible Well, I mean, it's not impossible, but you know what I mean? It's it's a very um, It's a very difficult thing to pull off to just pull a full team full team of Japanese players, but Instead, what I'm going to do is I have a set rule of um, what I'm going to do for this RTG. So, uh, rule number one, I have to use a minimum of three Japanese players in my starting squad. Uh, my second rule for evolutions, um, if they require, uh, if like certain live uh, foot friendlies require, you know, teams that may not include Japanese players, that's going to be my only exemption. That's going to be the only exemption with, for the three Japanese player rule. Um, the, my third rule for this one is I have to at least use one Japanese evolution player. Now, evolutions are going to be used in different ways. Of course, I can use evolutions in many ways, but I have to at least have one Japanese evolution player. So that means if I want to have like, you know, Mitoma, Endo, and maybe like say Furuhashi, right? From Celtic. One of those three players is going to have to be evolved. It's going to have to go through an evolution or has to be an evolved card. So I cannot go with all three of them and and not like <clears throat> excuse me and not use just their base golds. I have to use their evolutions for at least one of them. So and and there's no excuse for me not to use one because there are plenty of evolutions that I can use uh, to use it. Even the even the welcome to evolutions one, I can use Mitoma for that. So with that being said, uh, yeah, hopefully this will be the rule for this year. Um, those are the only rules that I got applied. Um, as far as that, you know, the simple rules, don't use FC points, yada yada. That's the same old, same old, same old. So, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and start with, um, let's go with, uh, let's go Brazil. Let's go Brazil. Let's try to be kind of crazy about this. And we already start off with the pack. We get a little striker. Oh, interesting. From Porto. Who's this? Um, oh, it's from... Um, Evan Nilsson. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, uh, we got it. we're gonna start off our little journey with these players right here. Actually, for here, I think I may as well just get Kyle Walker here. Because yep, he's there. Uh, let's get Kyle Walker uh, as our loan. And so let's go ahead and move on to the kits. Um, now, of course, all, the strategy all the time is to get you know the expensive kind of like kits. So maybe France or Manchester United. I'm gonna go with France for this one, and then uh, for the other one, hmm, it kind of like me that I do also like the, Bort the Dortmund shirt. Uh, the Argentina one looks nice too, but I'm gonna take the Italy one because uh, if I'm not gonna use him right now, I'm not gonna may as well not. Uh, let's go for let's go for the German badge, um, even though I'll probably remove it because Japan owns Germany anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got the Nike Mad, uh, of course, promo going on right now, and so we can hope that we can pack a player out of the, uh, that caliber right now. But in the meantime, the first objective, yeah, it's either packing a Japanese player or buying a Japanese player. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started with some SBCs now. Let's go ahead and let's go to yeah, let's. Oh man, what should I do actually now that I'm thinking about it? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go to SBCs first and let's complete the the intro the intro SBCs first uh, foundations Let's go ahead and complete that first So that we can unlock all the SBCs and from there. We'll just pack whatever is there. So let's get let's get to it uh, Not a big deal here and then um, 100 coins nice not bad uh, now the rest of these, uh, we got a silver pack, good old silver pack, why not? 
Uh, China, center back, right. Uh, not really going to care much for Chinese players there. Uh, Liang, uh, or Donetsk. Huh. I, I didn't even notice if I even backed in any, any kits or anything like that, but I don't think I did. In which case, oh well. Uh, two players pack. Let's see if we get a rare. Nope. We, well, I, I guess we do, but it's a uh, Libertadores player, so not a big deal. Alrighty, guys. I realized that it did pack a couple of kits, so we're going to have to apply those. Um, and, of course, we're going to quick sell or, or probably try to sell these uh, kits here. I don't know if how much they're worth right now. Italy's kit is at around 1K or so. Yeah, we could probably sell this for about a 1,000 coins. Uh, let's go ahead and put it up for a thousand. See if that sells. Uh, the France kit. Um, oh, I have to activate this. There we go. Now the French kit might be worth a bit more, or if not the same. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sell it for about the same price. One K. There we go. Uh, and then the Germany batch will be replaced by some random batch here. Let's go for Let's go for Unterhaching Let's go for that one Looks weird, but it's there, but let's go ahead and compare the price of the German kit and there's no German kit interesting now if I put it up here will I get the 5k only time will tell Alrighty, I finished another foundations pack and uh, we got ourselves a premium silver player pack and a loan player pack so let's see uh let's check this premium loan player pack first uh which will okay we can't skip this for some reason we can never skip these freaking packs for some reason we get the man city crowd chance which is cool i guess uh we get anderson taliska and kosha um which ah uh, it's another gold but who cares anyways um premium silver pack uh, let's see what we end up getting here. Oh, Japan! There we go! CDM? Who's this? He's from, uh... Oh, I, I don't know. What it, oh, it's so for the Pro League. We got Misao. We got Misao. What's up? Alright, we got our first Japanese player. Which is cool. Uh, Ortegosa. We got... Fet Fat Zidis. Wow. Great. Uh... Ooh, two rare gold players pack. Nice. I'll take that for sure. Alright. Well, let me go ahead and open up that two rare gold players pack and see if we pack ourselves something good here, which would be cool if we could. Uh, yeah, let's open up the two rare gold players packs. Let's see what we end up getting out of this. So Spain, center mid. Barcelona, what? A board? Or, please be, oh, okay. It's Gavi. He's a board, which is a good start. Um, a, a board is pretty nice. Ooh, Timo Werner. Wow. Timo Werner. Well, look at this. Hey, this RTG is off to a good start. Timo Werner, look at that. 13k. If he was tradable, that'd be good. But hey, we'll, we'll take a Timo Werner, man. I don't I don't mind that too much. Let's go. We're off to a good start here in this RTG. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's go ahead and keep completing here. So I'll be right back. Uh this looks like a Libertadores player, so we're gonna skip that. Hey, we got Chong. Nice. So that's already one player for a Dutch, and that will help us in the marquee matchups. And now we open up the two rare gold players packs. A uh, pack, I should say. It's singular. What do we get here? Spain? No, please don't be the same. Okay, it looks like it's Luis Alberto, which is an 84, which is really good. I don't mind that a lot. An 84 rated uh, Luis Alberto, which if we do end up packing Daichi Kamala... That would actually help with the links. And we get Van Iwick, which looks like a pretty good wing back. Um, 92 pace, 70 defending. He actually looks pretty good for a fullback. What should we get? Because now we gotta think about like who could we buy? Who could we um Yeah, who could basically who could we buy? Uh squad selector. Let's go ahead and create a new squad. And let's call it uh uh, team, uh, let's call it Team Nippon, uh, Team Nippon, which is basically, um, how Japanese will pronounce Japan over there, so we'll just call it that. Uh, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got ourselves into. So we got our strikers, we got Timo Werner, 
Um, I think I'm gonna run. I keep forgetting that it's not the button. Um, we're gonna change it to a. Yeah, let's go for a four three three. Um. Hmm. So I guess the Japanese play that I got, which would be um, uh, what was it? My Misao. He does not play center mid. He can only play CDM. So in that case, well, we will um switch up the formation to this. Put in uh, let's put in Gavi, and then a CDM. We'll put in Loverich. Uh, he can, oh, he can play left wing. Perfect. So we'll put him at left wing and then at cam, we can actually, uh, center mid, I mean, we can put Luis Alberto for a little bit of that cam for Serie A. Kyle Walker for sure. Um, and then a goalkeeper, uh, Lete. All right. So obviously this is going to be the look of it so far. However, as you know, there aren't, there are not a lot of good, there's not a lot of chemistry going on, but we'll change that soon. So. We got 2,400 coins, which means we could spend that on two, probably two Japanese players at this rate. Um, of course, the one I want to take priority over is to try to get uh, Mitoma. Uh, that's number one. Uh, but however, we'll have to see if we can actually afford him. So let's look for gold Japanese players. So we got Itakura, which could be a good center back. And it has been this league of links, so that will actually work well with... Um, uh, Werner and we got Kubo which could work for the La Liga links So I guess we can pretty much start with these two and then I can get uh, Ooh, Ito is there too and Daichi Kamada as well is pretty cheap actually Let's go with Takafusa Kubo uh, We'll buy him Let's go ahead and look here. So we got Itakura And we got Ito. Ooh Can I actually buy both of them? Let's buy Itakura first 770, 772 coins left. Um, put him here. This one, no games. Perfect. We'll buy him. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves a couple of Japanese players to get us started. Uh, yep, let's put him in there. There we go. Look at that. We got some cam as well. Get that club working. But I guess if that's the case, we can actually go ahead and play our first game and see how well these players play um but yeah let's go ahead and go into our first game righty guys we're in our first match we're going to, against road to bambi what is this who does he have Ooh, wow oh oh my lord oh my lord what a squad he's probably looking at me like what the heck is this up with this squad but okay here we go let's get it going there we go takafusa kubo Take, pass it this way. Timo Werner, yes. Timo Werner off to a great start. Hang on, let me pause it real quick because I need to I need to turn off the trainer. I don't know why I have it on. Oh man, it's gonna be so awkward. Ah, uh, he scored on me, great. Oh really? Okay, man. Okay, man. Ah, Jesus Christ, it's gonna be so annoying. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Come on. Give me a break. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle Walker with the header. Let's go. There we go. Timo Werner. Let's go. We're tied it up again. Let's go. Damn. Freaking power shot. It's going to be unstoppable to stop at this point. Please grab it. Yes. Yes. Luis Alberto, please. Oh. Damn. Well, that's so we're going to lose our first game, guys. Which is really unfortunate. But uh, we kept it pretty close as much as we can. So that at least we know there's some level of improvement here. So we'll keep that We'll keep that in mind. Alrighty, guys. I completed the amateur moments. And just as a final goodbye for this episode, we're going to go ahead and open up uh, a player pick with four, with our 14 stars. We're going to go ahead and open up a rare gold player pick pack. And let's see what we get out of this player pick. Here we go. One of three. Mm, eh. 
Duma Zapata might be the best option here, uh, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna take Zapata. Why not? Uh, and I think that hour already passed since I put it up. Uh, let me check real quick. See if that one's still selling. Yeah, that one didn't sold. Yep, but nobody's like there. So let's put at let's put it at 4.7. Let's see if that entices people if they want a 300 coin discount on it. Well, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But in any case, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this RTG. Is it going to be fun for you? Or is it not? Or what does it matter? Well, who cares? In any case, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.